So we've got a triangle, all the measurements are in metres. The perimeter of the triangle is 56 metres, the area of the triangle is A metre squared, work out the value of A. So this is a perimeter and area problem, but we've also got a little bit of algebra. So the first thing we've got to do is think about how we find the perimeter. And that's the length all the way around the outside. So here, if I was going to write down an expression for the perimeter, I would have x minus 1 plus 3x plus 3x plus 1. So I find the perimeter by adding up all of those side lengths. And if I simplify that, I've got x plus 3x plus 3x, so that's 7x, and then minus 1 plus 1, so that's nothing. So an expression for the perimeter is 7x, and if I reread that question, that's equal to 56 metres. So I know that 7x equals 56, so a very, very simple equation to solve there. 7 times something is 56. So if I divide by 7, x is going to be how many 7s in 56? 8. Once I've got that x is 8, I can then work out um, these side lengths. So once I can work out these side lengths, I can then work out the area of the triangle. So if x is 8, 3x is going to be 24, 3 times 8. And then here... If x is 8, 8 minus 1 is going to be 7. So what I've now got essentially is a triangle with a base of 7, sorry, a base of 24, a height of 7, and remember we're interested in the base and height being at right angles. Just make sure you can see that. So base 24, height of 7. So I'm going to do base times height and then halve it. So 24 times 7, half that. So quick calculation for 24 times 7, 20 times 7 is going to be 140, because 2 times 7 is 14, and then 4 times 7 is 28. Add them together. 168, so I'm going to be doing 168 divided by 2. So that's going to be... Well, half of 100 is 50, half of 60 is 30, and half of 8 is 4. Add those together and I'm going to get 84. So my answer is 84.